What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is part three in a series all about Artboard Studio. If you haven't watched part one and two, you should go back and do that because if you watch part three, your head might explode with excitement and you won't understand why. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at Artboard Studio's plugin for Figma. That's right, a direct integration for Figma. So all of you Figma fans out there, all of you Figmatics, this one's for you. You're gonna be able to open up the Artboard Studio plugin directly in Figma, add mockups directly from Artboard Studio, update things on the fly, and they're gonna look amazing. So with all that being said, let's take a look at a plugin that might make you pee your pants a little bit. I'm gonna head into Figma and I'm gonna go to the plugin screen. You can head over to browse all plugins and then you can search for Artboard Studio. And you can see that I already have it installed, but if you don't, you can click on the actual plugin and you can get details about it. Uh, and then if you don't have it installed, you literally just have to press right here, boom, install. Um, and I'm actually gonna give it a heart because it's a pretty red plugin. But so now it's installed, immediately I have access to the Artboard Studio plugin and I'm gonna go to a blank document um, and I'm gonna go up to plugins uh, and I'm gonna head right over here to Artboard Studio Mockups. You can also go to the hamburger menu, go down to plugins, and then Artboard Studio Mockups, add mockup item. It's the same in either one of those menus. When we do that, it opens up the Artboard Studio plugin window. We now have this and we can move it around and do whatever we want with it. The first time you open up this plugin, you're probably gonna need to put in your secret API key. You can do that by heading down to the actual options, and I've blocked it out on my screen, but but I have an actual secret API key that I can find inside of Artboard Studio. So when I'm ready to go get my secret API key, I can just click on this link right here and it's gonna open up my browser, open up Artboard Studio, take me to my settings, log me in, all that good stuff, and then I can actually grab my secret API key. I can reveal it here. I'm gonna hide it on my screen. I'm gonna copy it, come back out to Artboard Studio, paste it right there, and then I can press save and continue. When I do that, it's gonna give me access to the elements that I have access to. If I have a free account, you get the free items. If you have a paid account, you get access to all those items as well. Before we go too much further, let's just draw an artboard on our canvas and uh, let's move this out of the way. Let's give it like a nice warm, kind of like neutral tone, maybe a little bit more on the neutral side of things. That's kind of nice. And uh, okay, cool, something to work on, something to work with. So we have our frame here, and let's say we wanted to create, I don't know, some sort of layout, some sort of mock-up here. Um, what we could do is use any of the items that are presented. So we have all the items, free items or premium items. You can see top views or front views, and you can drill down to recent items, or you can go to any of the other elements. Like currently we're in electronics, and if I wanted to, I could bring in uh, this really awesome mock-up of an iMac. When I do that, Artboard Studio plugin is going to drop a few things on the canvas. I'm gonna zoom out so we can see. It's gonna drop in the actual element itself, and it's gonna drop in the actual artboard where we're gonna put our artwork that shows up on our element, right? So I actually have a, uh, a mock-up of a website that I did a design for. Nothing's happened yet, but if I grab the artwork or the artboard that has the actual artwork on it and I say render selected frame, it's gonna render this artwork with the perspective and everything that it needs to be popped into my actual iMac. And so now what we can do is drag that into our composition just like so. And uh, I like the way that that looks, but it's looking a little bit lonely. So why don't we add a few items to it? Maybe we could add a side view of a mouse like this. And that's a static item, so it doesn't even actually uh, have any artwork that needs to be updated. And I can press K to bring up the scale tool and I can scale down any item or scale up any item that is supplied. So let's put that right there, we're just gonna build a little bit of a scene. And why don't we go to, um, how about, nature and let's see if we can find something cool. All right, I'm gonna grab this plant by clicking on it right there. And maybe this little baby cactus is so cute, I like it. So why don't we put that right there, building a nice little scene out just like that. And this is just like Artboard Studio or like anything inside of uh, Figma. We can rearrange stuff so I can bring one cactus behind and one in front and that's just fine. And then why don't we uh, take a color from this brand and why don't we just draw ourselves like a little circle let's just do something like this and we know now that it's inside the frame our actual composition 
And so let's do that. Pop that in there. That's starting to look kind of fun. Why don't we bring it up a little higher? Now this is gonna be really cool because a lot of the packaging elements inside of Artboard Studio have multiple different designs and ways that you can update them. So why don't we do like a bottle? Um, we'll bring out a bottle and, and here's what happens. I'm actually gonna close my Artboard Studio element now. And in my layers panel, you can see we have beer bottle, top label, cap color, and label. I'm gonna grab all of these and I'm gonna bring them over here, just up above or down below, like so, okay? All of these artboards, these labels, this cap color, and this top label, they all represent something on our actual mock-up over here, right? So why don't we take this same circle that we had here, why don't we drop that in, and actually let's not do a circle, but let's fill the entire label, because that's probably what labels do. They fill the entire space. Why don't we turn that green, and why don't we take some text and just write uh, drinks, like right in the middle, and we will take our text and bump that up nice and big. Why don't we make it white to match our scene, and uh, why don't we find like a little bit more of a fun typography, okay? So I'm not in love with that typography, but uh, it's a little bit more interesting. So let's take it and just center align, get it right there, and then we're gonna bring our Artboard Studio uh, mock-up item back out. We have our Artboard selected, why don't we just render the selected frame, and immediately we should see it update over there as well. So we can take the same thing here, We just built a nice little scene directly inside of Figma using the elements from Artboard Studio, updating all of these elements on the fly, and uh, it's <laughs> just absolutely amazing. Well, that's it. That's everything you need to know about the Artboard Studio plugin for Figma. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development, and there's more videos in this series to come, so stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments and check the description for a link to Artboard Studio and also to the Figma plugin and also to Figma and also just other cool stuff. So check out the description area. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things, and I hope you're using the tools like this one that make your life easier. I'll see you in the next one.